on it. So I did a video the other day on the Aero Mesh Network. I ended up sending that back. I had uh, one of the um, mesh adapters that just would not stay connected at all. Um, now I have Ryzen Fios and uh, with the size of my house and everything, it just I could not get that mesh network to work like I wanted to. So I ended up going with the Fios network extender directly from Verizon. Um, it's basically a network adapter um, that you know does the same thing. It provides me extra coverage. The only difference is it's an access point where if I have a cable coax or I have another Ethernet connection, um, I can basically plug it in. Um, it rebroadcasts the same signal um, that's currently hooked up with my router. A new thing that Verizon has is um, the SON feature. Uh, it basically employs uh, an access point and load balancing um, so that they move seamlessly across your network. So you'll have one network name that will be for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz and it basically searches to figure out what's best for that device and that's what it goes to. Um, so they just sent it to me. Um, so I'm going to unbox it and I'll explain to you what all came in the box and how to hook everything up. Alright, once again, he's my trusty Benchmade here. And I love this Benchmade knife. If you're looking for a great knife, I'll leave actually a link to this knife in the description below if you're curious. Okay, so it came in a bigger box. There's a few things laying to the side. I'll show you here in a second. So this is what it is. So this here is the uh, network uh, extender uh, right here. And I'll get you all better pictures of all of this here in just a second. Um, it comes with uh, some instructions on how to hook everything up. It comes with a uh, ethernet cord, maybe three feet, maybe something it looks like. Um, and then of course the power adapter as well. So this here um, is your network extender. So let's go ahead and open this right on up okay okay so as you can see on the back um, it has two ethernet ports it has the coax cable and your power and your reset over here is basically the network name and password and everything else um, so all I'm going to do is I have just one ethernet port coming into the house so it's going to go um, into the coax so I'm powered up put another cable um, line right here and this is going to rebroadcast the network uh, is what they say um, and then right here you can see what wireless is going on and there's lights and everything that are going to blink right here so what came in the other box that they send you is <clears throat> so if you're running the cable and you need to have um, it's split so let's say you're putting it where a TV is it comes with a splitter right here so you would hook this single piece right here uh, so from the wall this is going to plug into the end right here then you would take these two cable wires right here is what they sent me okay there's these two cable wires right here so what you're going to have is this would be coming you would hook what's coming in from the wall from here you then screw one of these in this is going to one of them is going to run to your router and then the other one would run to your tv um, so you could have everything hooked up so basically it's real quick that's what comes in the box um, in the instruction guide, it basically says the same thing when it comes with the base station, the coax splitter, the coax cables, the ethernet cable, um, the adapter, and the extender. So what they're saying is basically place the network extender in an area where your Wi-Fi signal is spotty, connect one of the coax cable to the back of the outlet, and that's pretty much it. Once you plug it in, um, it's automatically going to start the network and everything like that, and it should just work. So I'm going to... Hook this up and what will be a couple minutes for me will be right now for you. Okay, so just got hooked up. Literally, that was it. I took it, plugged it into the wall, hooked the cable out a little and waited about three to four minutes and it was working. So where I used to not even be able to get 5G um, upstairs really um, in the office or in the master bedroom um, on the 5 gigahertz spectrum, um, I am now. So, and I'm going to show you the speed test that I, uh, that I just ran. So, um, what you'll see was that bottom one right there that's 350 and 276. That's running off the 5G, um, the 5 gigahertz, and then the top one is the 2.4. Those bottom ones, all that there, that's what, I, uh, that's what I was getting to 21, to 32, to 35. So, it really increased, um, 
you know, getting those higher speeds up to this side of the house. I'm super happy with it. Um, it blew away the mesh network uh, systems and everything else like that. So before we moved into this new house, um, I ran an access point before with a long ethernet cord that had ran up through the attic um, into the frog of the other house. Um, so this is working a lot better. So my recommendation right now is if you definitely, if you have Ryzen Fios and I don't know about Xfinity and different things like that, they may have some options as well. But if you have Fios, go with this Fios extender. It was 129. Um, you probably can, maybe can pick it up cheaper out on eBay. I don't know. I bought it from Verizon. It was 129. It got here in like two days and I ordered it. Uh, it was the night after I did that Eero video. So uh, I got here super fast. I love it. This is it. It's the, you know, the Fios network extender right here. You literally plug it in. It takes the name of your network. It takes everything that's already there and just rebroadcast it. But it's not where you know, it's like the net mesh network where it's bouncing around. It's basically, it's an access point is, is exactly what it is. So I'm getting amazing speeds. I'm super happy with it. Um, so that's my recommendation. I would skip out on the mesh networks if you have Fios and you have a coax cable or another Ethernet cable um, somewhere located in your house that you can hook that other router up to. So thanks for watching. You know what to do. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Please click subscribe if you're not so you can stay up with my content. Hit that bell icon if you are subscribed so you're notified when I upload new videos. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Thanks for watching.